All right, so we are live. It's a, what is it? It's a Thursday night? We'll see who comes on. Ah, I'm trying to get back on my schedule, trying to video more. If you watch this on the replay, thank you for coming on in. I appreciate you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, leave a comment or two. You know how it works. Y'all know how it works. Don't be acting like y'all don't know how it works. All right. So if you're here, come on in. So, hi, Mindy. It's been a little, you know, I don't know what happened. Hey, Baba Shell. Hey, Ash. I don't know what happened. You said hold with me. I was like, why you why you come why you why you trying to say something like that? Hey Andrea. Why y'all call me that though? Hey Moxie, how are you, baby? How are you? Okay. I don't know what happened. It's mid-month. And 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 things have gone awry on the shopping. Hey Queen Susie. Things have gone awry. I don't know how I wound up with all this stuff. Okay, Michelle, you hit up. Hi, Candy. That's and that's all that matters. All right, you have a good night, Moxie. You get some rest. Get ready for your day. All that other good stuff. Okay. I was gonna say this to the end of the month, but I've gotten a little bit out of control, y'all. So I'm gonna start out with the small stuff, and then I'm gonna go into the bigger stuff. And I have some idea, and I have some thoughts about. You know some of the products I have. Hey, Melinda, I have some. I have some already. Some initial thoughts about some of this stuff. Not everything, um, but you know what happens is, hey, Bella. What happens is, is that when you do these hauls, I've learned. I've had to like you kind of like hold things out, and then you put it away after you haul, which means that stuff is just kind of accumulating around me. Just accumulate. Just accumulate. So now I said, girl, you can't, you can't hold this because you done lost your fucking mind. It is August. It is May 16th, August. Where did I get August? It is May 16th. Have you done this much damage? I'm not doing that much for the rest of the month, though. I promise y'all. I promise the rest of the month is going to be good. So let's see what, what we got. Let me, let me put a little, um, let me put a little lip stuff on. Let me put a little lip stuff on. I'm going to leave all the palettes to the end. All the palettes will be at the end. Because I lost my little palette ass mind recently. I lost my palette mind. So we're going to leave them to the end. Okay, so how's everybody doing? Okay, so where do I begin? Um, okay, I'm going to put this to the side. Put this to the side. I broke off. Okay, I broke off Ulta a little bit. But Ulta was good to me this month. I got a lot of good deals so far. I got a lot of freebies and stuff. So Ulta was good to me. So let's start with Ulta. Let's start with Ulta. Let's start with Ulta. Let's see what's going on with Ulta. Why am I seeing somebody up here? Okay, so let's start, start with Ulta. So I did a little something with them. You know, I, I I didn't do too bad. So uh, what else did I get? Okay, now the thing I got also, and I guess I gotta put these on my um Okay, she don't know I'm on. I, I need people to get off my damn Okay, let me do this. I gotta do that. Okay. Okay. So these are the, the bulbs that I bought for my this beautiful lighting we have right now. So that's that's the first thing. This is on Amazon. I will try to put them on my Amazon page in case you have this type of bulb. Because this this one, not the big the standard, but this is a smaller one. So if you have that kind of thing, like for ceiling fans and stuff like that, lights, I'll put that down because these are freaking awesome lights. La these are awesome okay so that's that put those right there for now then Ulta so Ulta I think I've shown some stuff that I've gotten from Ulta so I'm not going to revisit everything I'm not going to revisit everything how is this am I buffering or anything 
but Ulta gave me a lot of samples this month. I got a lot of samples. Okay, so let's talk about it. So, what's this doing in here? Hmm. Oh, that's the original one I got. Okay, so I got, um, so I went a couple of times. Oh, I was throwing stuff in here. Oh, those are hers. Okay, okay. Let me use this side. Okay. Andrea. Okay. I'm not going to say much. So I got a lot of freebies. So I got a, um, they were doing like these. If you ordered so much, I think it was like $30 in prestige or certain categories, they were sending out these extra sample things. So I got a bunch of like fragrance samples, which I think I'm going to put them in my guest bathroom. I think I'm going to put like a basket with little perfume samples for like if somebody's over and they need to, you know, would like to put on some perfume. So I'm going to do that. And I, I think I showed all of this stuff, like the CSC. Oh, I need to put these up, the tropical facial wipes, things like that. Okay, so that was that first thing that I talked about a while ago. Now, I did get my, okay, so I got one of my Bossy Charms. I decided to get rid of one and only keep myself down to one because, you know, Andrea, oh my God, when I find it, I've moved, you know, I've packed away your box. It's around here someplace. As soon as I find it, you'll have it. Um, so anyway, I got rid of one, but okay. And you know, cause a lot of times when the boxy charms come, I really don't want the stuff in the one that's mine, but this one was a good one. So they had the Alamar cosmetics. They had the blush palette. So y'all know I had to have this, right? Y'all know I had to have this blush palette. So this is their, um, and they sent me the medium one. So this is the medium one, the color red to blush trio. Yeah, okay. So I got that. Alrighty, love it already. Then I got, what else did I get in here? And then, um, so that was the only pretty much the thing I wanted from the boxy charm, no lie. And so now with Ulta, so let me show y'all some of these freebies I got. I got, so now it was Platinum and Diamond Perk Day a couple of weeks, a week ago or so. And so I, you know, I rarely really do the Diamond Perks correctly, but this time I was really, I was all in. I was all in. So I'm going to show you the samples and I'll show you what the Diamond Perk was. So I got this, they had this Redken hair thingy. We'll see if I want to use that. And then they had this patchology little group with the night gel, eye gels. It's got a couple of other ones in here. Why don't I just open it up and show y'all instead of acting like I can't open it up. Okay, Louise, you real stupid. So it has the restoring night eye gels right here. It has the hydrating lip gels. We should try this today. I should try these hydrating lip gels because I bought some lip gels or something or some, somehow I got some and they were terrible. They made my lips feel so dry. So I've been like, no, thank you. I don't need the lip gels. The little mask, the lip mask. Then this is the Healthy Glow Sheet Mask and they have, what else did they have in here? And they have this, which is this Aqua Flash, whatever, whatever. So I bought that. And so I got a bunch of sample stuff, which I'm going to wind up putting away because I'm really not going to use it. Now I do want to use this. This is this um, DPU ACB Apple Cider Vinegar Scalp Scrub. Hey Val, I want to try this. This is one of those, salts. this is a salt scrub for your, um, for your scalp. And so I think I'm going to do it because I tried one and I don't think I did it right. So I want to try this to see how it feels. Now, the rest of this kind of stuff, like, let's be real. These things annoy me. This is the It's a 10 Miracle Deep Condition Shampoo and Miracle Oil Plus Keratin, whatever. Okay, this ain't enough to do my hair. This is supposed to be a deep conditioner right here. Who's hair? You know who could use these? Nikki Raven, because she ain't got no hair. Who, what woman can actually do their whole head with one of these? Let's be honest. No, ma'am. I got, well, do you see this hair? You see how I got a lot of hair per, per millimeter. I got a lot. Hey, Nadia. So this is not going to do it. 
They, these little things annoy me. I'm like, now the shampoo, yes, you can shampoo your hair, but the conditioners should be at least double the size. If you want somebody to really try your conditioner, it needs to be double the size. Give me that little piece of mess that I can't do nothing with. Okay. All right. So I, let me see if I got anything else in here besides all these samples that I have. Okay. So this is mostly sample city. Okay. So this is mostly. Okay. 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 Okay, yeah, okay, Valerie, I would say you can't, but I can't. So they make them out for people who ain't. Okay, so then with the platinum purse, let me see what else I got. Okay, so the platinum perk was, if you spend $25, no, I'm sorry, the diamond perk, was the Clinique Even Better um, Foundation. So I got a free foundation right now. So I got a free foundation. So that was my free foundation for, that was my platinum uh, perk for the month. I mean, diamond perk for the month. Now, I, I, can we say this? Now, I'm going to need Sephora for y'all VIB Rouges because I'm not VIB Rouge. But I think Sephora should be doing something like that for VIB Rouge. If you spend $25, we're going to give you this freebie every month. But of course, Sephora would have so few of them that it would be annoying. At least with, with um, Ulta, unless you wait till the very end of the day, you're bound to get a diamond perk a freebie but you know sephora be like so if sephora did something like that for the vip rouges they probably have five of them all right real talk so then so then what i what i really got though is this oh my goodness i have been wanting this for so long not sport on the crap that's why i ain't getting my damn money no more i'm like seriously and that's some stuff i want from support but i said fuck it i'll wait to okay so this is the lancome visionaire crescendo peeling um progressive night peel so let me show y'all this this was half price this is normally 75 dollars. i got it for half price it was a diamond and platinum perk for the day right hey veronica I've been wanting to try this for so long. So let me tell you how it works. It's two, it's a it's a 28 day night peel. You do phase one for 14 days, you do phase two. After that, you do phase two for 14 days. I am in phase one, and baby, I love this stuff. So the thing is with it is that you can't do a lot. So, like when I was read, thank God I read the the, the directions because half the time I don't read them. So I was reading the directions and they said, you know, don't use anything within 24 hours that has lactic, like glycolic acid, retinols, things like that. So you pretty much have to let go of all of those. So luckily I caught myself because one of my cleansers has glycolic acid in it. So I had to switch up, do something a little different so I could do this for 28 days. Now, it was a really good time for me to do it because with the move, I haven't been really on top of my skincare and my skin was kind of suffering where I just felt like it was just not feeling good. And so I, so I've been doing this. I'm, I don't know how many days I mean, I started on Sunday. That's all I know. I started on Sunday and oh my goodness, y'all know how like you people feel like about good jeans, how you like, you try the, the Sunday Riley good jeans and you'd be like, oh my God, that's how this feels. I promise y'all that's how this feels. So all I've been doing is at night, I'm washing my face. I'm not putting anything else on. I haven't been doing a toner, anything. And then I put a little eye cream and I put this on. And then I'm doing, a, 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 and now they say I was putting on moisturizer. So I've been using my um, Pacifica Sleepover Mask, Sleep Mask. This right here. This right here. Now, I'm hoping because, like, if you can see it, I think because you, I'm only using, like, three pumps. It says use three or four pumps. I'm using, like, three pumps to do my whole face. I'm hoping that there's enough to do it twice because I'm thinking I want to do, if you know, depending on how phase two feels, I think I want to do it, like, twice a year. So, since I've done it in May, i probably do it again in November just to keep my, you know, see if that's as often because this isn't something you should be doing, like, all the time. This is this is something like when you really working on your skin and you really want to um, really want to exfoliate it and, you know, do some cell recovery and everything. So that's what I'm using now. That was a long conversation.
I, that was like almost a whole review of it. But there's no review yet until I finish the 28 days. Is everybody still here? Because I know I'll be buffering sometimes. Let me know am I still here. Let me know am I still here. Yes, no. Am I still here? Because I don't... I, 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 see what y'all want to talk to me? Okay, still here. Okay. So that was that. That was that. Then I got, oh, and then this is the other thing I got. I bought this Smith and uh, Colt Black Drop Mattifying Face Primer because I wanted, oh, really? Okay, cool. Um, I want to try this. I don't know why. This is one of those black primers that's supposed to mattify and everything. I've used it a couple of days. It's pretty decent. Um, I don't know if you know i'm gonna keep using it because sometimes primers really don't make that much of a difference now i'm gonna say the smashbox the tart part i know what i'm using even the elf one but this one i'm not sure about not sure about i'm gonna check it out a little more so anyway got that did i buy anything else i think that's it because i oh and then i bought some lip glosses you know because Gotta had a lip gloss, gotta had a lip gloss. Cause now, just so y'all know, I am on a peachy coral quest this year. Last summer, I was all about the pink. This year, I'm feeling peachy coral. Like I'm like, I'm feeling like I don't have enough of it, especially when it comes to glosses. So I got, a, you know, I got a few of those. So that's what I got there. <laughs> so I got a couple of butter glosses. Let me see if I can find one. I got the butter gloss here. I got this, which is um, maple blondie. And I got a cup, and then I got a, another ColourPop juicy gloss. And I got something else. Okay, so that's that. Went to Marshalls. Went to Marshalls, and I found a few things. Just a few things. Just a, and I did really good at Marshalls. I, I, I mean, I, y'all should be proud of me because I went into Marshalls one time. I went to Marshalls and didn't buy any makeup at all. Not one lick, not one stick of makeup. I was real proud of myself at that moment. I was real proud. So, went, did my. Now, the one that I went to was not the best. It was a little janky on stuff. You know, when you go to Marshalls, it's so hit or miss. And TJ Maxx, where they might have products, but people then picked over it and put their fingerprints all in it. So, you don't want to touch it. But I did find a few things. I found me. Cause we know they got the ABH lipsticks all day. So I found a couple that I needed. I got Honey, which I was wearing earlier today. So I got Honey, which is this really pretty brown nude. Honey's real cute. So I got that one. And I got Dead Roses, which is of course this rosy color, which is so pretty. And I remember somebody mentioned it, so I haven't wanted to get it. So I got Dead Roses. I'm good right there. I also bought, let me see if I can find it. Because you know what else they getting? They getting a lot of Marc Jacobs, y'all. Y'all got to, we have to start watching for that. Because they have a lot of Marc Jacobs there. So, I bought a Marc Jacobs gloss. Because I really will not pay for Marc Jacobs. I don't know. Some of I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It's something about the fact that everybody be like, oh my God, Marc Jacobs. That I won't buy him. I just really won't. So, that's just me. And I know that's wrong with me because Mark ain't done nothing to me. Mark is Mark is Mark could be a friend. I got Mark Jacobs purses, but you know, I just be like, no, mm -mm. no, Mark, you're not. Nope, I don't believe in you. I don't believe in you. All right, so now let's hit Walmart. So let's see. I haven't done bad at Walmart either. See, I, now right now y'all going dang, Lou, you didn't do that bad. And it, this is what I was starting. I was like, oh, I'm not doing bad. I've been doing pretty good. Not so bad, Lou. And then it went awry. It went awry. So here we go. I got this. I finally got a Rimmel Maxi Blush. I have been avoiding them and avoiding them. Because I said, you know, you got enough blush. But then I had the moment where, see? So I, so I went and got this one. This is in Sweet Cheeks. Um, because this is like the deeper peach. Cause I'm finding that when I look at them, I'm like, mm -mm, you need this deeper peach. Oh, I should have uh, swatched the Alamar one because I still have not worn the Alamar one. So I could swatch it for you all. So that's that sweet cheek. This will probably be something for the winter time. Can I see it? I can see it. Okay. I can see it. So that's that. Do y'all want me to swatch the Alamar? Tell me if y'all need me to swatch some stuff. I will swatch it for you if you want me to. So just let me know what I need to swatch. Say swatch that bit. Swatch it. Swatch it. 
So I got that. Somehow I don't remember buying these. You know, you know when you had a moment where you don't remember that you bought some stuff. Okay. Now remember I told you all about this, the tents, the Revlon cheek flushing tents. Well, I had Posey, and then I went back and found the other three. So I have um, this is Hot, this is Starstruck, and this is Flashy. So I have four of them now. Cause it was like, okay, you just gonna get them? Yes. Would you now when I'm pulling out stuff? If I'm not trying to swatch, y'all better tell me. Say swatch it, have for swatch it. Okay, so I got those. Okay, so that's that on my blushes. Because I think I've had these for a while. I got these Essence Matte Touch Blushes. These are nice. Oh, my goodness. I have satin. No, no, this is the regular ones. I have this one and Pinch, Peach Me Up. And this one and Bury Me Up. These are so cute. Oh, my gosh. Got those. Oh. Okay, so I will show you all because I really want to show you all these. I just want to show them to you. This is the one in Hot because I got, I said, oh my God, these are so cute. These are so much cuter. I'm starting to get into cream and tint and this kind of stuff, liquidy blushes and stuff because I've never really done that. I've always been a powder chick, you know. Listen, that comes from being, you know, old and that's what we had. So look at how this looks in here. Can you all see it? First off, lighting is just freaking ridiculous. So this is this hot pink right here. But you can like shear it down so it'll be like a nice wash of pink. So you can wear it like that as a nice wash of pink or you can build it up, y'all. You can build it up, y'all. You can build it up. And then you can build it up a little bit. As I said, you can build it up. So you have this and so you can build it up to about right there and i have worn them already um i wore the first one i got was it posy or something posh or something and it looks really nice on and they last really nice and they don't make your uh, makeup move so i do like them so that's that and then this one is starstruck this is a really pretty color especially if you have a deeper complexion boom this is going to be so pretty Look at how beautiful this is. Look at how beautiful. Look at how gorgeous that is. That's just such a pretty orangey, corally one. So that's there. Put that back. And then this is flashy. This is flashy. Right now, let me tell you, these are hard to find because I've only been able to find them in Walmart. So if you're looking for them, go to Walmart. Um, that's how I found them. And that's about the only place I could find. These are from Revlon, Bella. These are the Revlon Photo Ready Cheek Flushing Tints. And so this is the last one and this is flashy. So this is more of a real a true peach. So I like them because a, they, they kind of give you a nice range of colors, um, of shades, and they, you know, made it so that, you know, you could pretty much find something. You see? Hi, Stacy. How are you? Let me get this off before this stays on because this stuff does stay on. But you can, no, they don't move my foundation. I was able to wear them, look nice on. But, you know, my plan for these are kind of like for summertime where I'm not wearing a whole lot of foundation. Okay, so I got those. I got those. Put those back. Oops. Oh, shoot. I'm trying to make sure I didn't put something away. Now, this is my find. Why? Oh, I closed my door. Porch is about to lose my mind. What? Did nobody tell me about this flower heat wave luminous bronzer? Why hasn't anybody told me about this? Why hasn't anybody told me? I have this in Sunrise. This is such a nice bronzer for me. Now, I don't know if it's going to be good for everybody. Um, I 
I haven't come to terms with that yet, but I'm, I'm going to be honest with myself because I won't be able, you know, I, I won't be able to take it to the store and return it probably. So, so anyway, this bronzer is so cute on me. Baby, this is such a pretty bronzer. Oh my goodness. I had no idea. It's like, it's a neutral, so it's not too cool. Um. It's not too cool because I was looking at the mediums and I kept looking at them. I said, you know, I'm not thinking you're going to be a medium. <laughs> so we got this. So, but it's not too cool. It's not too warm. It's just really pretty. I've been wearing it every day since I got it. I am in love with this damn bronzer. It is so nice. So, there we, so that's, that has been like, yes, yes. Let me put this away because I'm trying to make sure I put things away. Well, I've been wearing honey. So I'll keep honey, put honey back in my uh, makeup bag. I guess one of those days I might do a, what's in my makeup bag? What's in my makeup bag? Okay, so let me put that away. Okay, and this blush goes away. All right. So let's see where else have I done damage. Where else have I done damage? Let's go with ColourPop. But I'm not going to do the, the palettes to the end. So I, I ordered some stuff from ColourPop. Am I missing something? Maybe I'm not. Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna leave all the palettes to the end because y'all know y'all want me to swatch. So I went through so I got color pop. Um and you know what I'm liking about ColourPop is that they starting to give away these free things like, ooh, we're sorry we're late. So they gave me a cream gel liner in piggy bank, which is and it really wasn't that late to me. But I think BH should do that. But see, if BH did that, they'd be giving everybody something because they always late. So they gave me this. And it's in this really pretty, like, magenta, like, purpley color. I'm loving it because I do not have a liner this color. So I'm like, okay, Color Pop, thank you for being late then. Be late again. I don't care as long as you send me a freebie. So they had Super Shocks. 40% off. Did y'all did y'all see that when they did it? So they had the super shots 40% off. So what I did was I bought super shots that I've never bought before. So I bought blush and highlighters. I like them, some of them. I've had some bad experiences with their eyeliners, Val Valerie. So I like them, but I don't. Um because Hey, Lily, because I've had some bad ones. So I bought some Super Shock blushes, and I did some out of this spring collection. So I got this one, Get Laid. The one, two of them that I really wanted was sold out, and I was irritated. Because when it says Super Shocks are 40% off, I didn't even think that it could be um, that it could be the, the blushes and stuff. Oh, shit, this was open. I'm glad I opened this. So I got the blushes. So I got three blushes. Yeah, I got three blushes and two highlighters. So I got this one, which is Get Laid, because I've never had any of their Super Shock blushes and highlighters. So I got this one, Get Laid, and I like them. Oh my goodness. Now, I'm more of a cream person this time of year because we in Chicago and it gets a little... Um, yeah, I've never used them. So... I got this one. This is Get Laid. Let me show it to y'all. They do feel like putty, but this is like a really pretty peachy coral color because I, I have a thing for peachy corals. Oh, yeah, the watermelon palette's on its way. I already ordered that. I ordered that this morning. Real story. I was ordering that as I was checking out at Jules, getting my lunch. So I'm trying to check out and I'm trying to order my palette at the same time. So. Okay, so I got that one, and then I got Count Me In, this one right here. Well, I think I'm going to like them, because you know what they remind me of? I used to have the, um, yeah, I used to have the, the the bouncy ones by Maybelline, and I see they're very much the same type of formulation. Um, but like I said, I kind of like this stuff. Okay, well, you do that, Angie. You, oh, oh, I'm sorry. You go and do that, girl. You go, you go do that. Because I'm on Viva La High Five. Don't worry, I got you. Everything you don't buy, I'm trying to get. 
So, so I got this one. <laughs> So I got this one. And so that's this color right here. So this is a more um, lighter one. And like, I like this kind of stuff for the summertime. In the wintertime, I'm more, you know, packing on powders, all that stuff. But for some reason in the summertime, because I'll go without. Um, oh, okay. Well, honey, let me let, let let me get let me make you live today. You about to live today um, because, I you know, I'm wearing less. I don't wear a lot of foundation and stuff because it's hot here and it's and it's humid and you sweat. So I'd rather put on something like this that'll give me a color, you know, and I work real damn hard. <laughs> right, right. That was for you, Bella. And then I got holiday. But when they four dollars, you be like, oh, okay, I can get them. Four dollars ain't so look at this. Isn't this just a pretty color? So I got holiday. This is well. You one of the few people who staying on, cause I didn't seen a lot of people breaking. They high by they low buys and no buys. I didn't seen the breakage coming. There's cracks in the no buy low buy. There is cracks in the no buy low buy. And so then this is this one, and it's more of a pinky one. So, yeah, these are gonna be cute on. Okay, Wench, you gonna have to talk to me later. I'm I'm sure it is. See, I, I don't I don't I don't even play with myself. I I couldn't do it. I could not do it. I'm trying to get this all off before it settles in. Cause my hands are. Well, that's only because y'all gave away more stuff than me. So we got that. But I'll never have more than Danny. So I'm always feeling like I'm behind. So then I got some highlighters. So I got this one. This is the one I think I love. This is Churro. Hey, sugar. This is Churro. Yeah, I think this is the one I really like. Oh my goodness. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Oh. Yeah, Danny's is ridiculous. Danny. Is ridiculous. And Angela. And Angela Owens. Angela beating us all though. Angela beating us all. When she go out and spend a thousand. When she go out here. Yeah. Okay. And then we have Parasol. You know, she got Chanel and the time for. So this is Parasol. I'm like, let me just stay over here in my color pop world. Let me just stay in my color pop world. I don't, she's done small amounts of her collection. She's never done a full collection. So you have to just see the sections of it. And then that's when you know, oh, this one's got a lot of stuff going on. So that's the um, parasol right there. Mm -hmm. I, I be feeling like I'm okay. I could just go and get what I want. As long as I, I'm still behind them. <laughs> okay, so I got rid of those. Let me put those away. All right, so let's get those off. Okay, so that's part of the color pop. Then we did beauty lish. We did a little beauty lishing. We did a little, you know, beauty lish makes you feel so special. Don't you feel special when you get a beauty lish box? You'd be like, ooh, beauty lish, ooh, beauty lish. Oh yeah, yeah, her inventory, yeah. You go, hey, Beautylish. Hey, Beautylish, how are you? Hey, Beautylish, thank you for loving me. Right, I don't know, she might be working. She might be working, you know, she ain't got, she got a word to pay for all this stuff, right? So I went to Beautylish. So we'll just go with 
the one thing that I got that wasn't a palette. I got the Hollywood Flawless Filter. Finally, I have been wanting this by Charlotte Tilbury. I have been wanting this and wanting this and wanting this. So I finally got in a medium and I do like it. Um, I am really into these glowy things now that give you that like whole face glow vibe. So I've been using it. So I've been using it and I love it. This is so nice. So yeah, got this, love it. I've used it today. This is my first time because I just got it yesterday. And I really do like it. I'm Yeah, she did it, I think, in the group. Yeah, she did it. But it was like an overview. It was an overview. It was an overview. She acted like she no, she didn't do no for real video. She did like an overview video. Okay, so we got the flawless filter. And okay, so I'm at so I think I'm at palettes. I did too bad, y'all. I know I'm missing some stuff though. I'm gonna go through this stuff and go, oh damn, I forgot to mention that. Oh damn. Okay, so let's go. Let's go. Let's go to the palettes. Let's hit the palettes. All righty. Let's start with Tarte. Let's hit a little Tartness. So we already know. So we already know that, you know, I got the certified one. I got the Sydney Grace. So I got me the Love, Trust, and Fairy Dust. So I got the Love, Trust, and Fairy Dust. Hello, lover. So I got the Love, Trust, and Fairy Dust. Now let me tell y'all, the highlighter is, is almost dead. But I don't care because I didn't want it for the highlighter. So I'm not sending it back because I want it. So I haven't I haven't actually fully tried it yet. So so y'all gotta make a decision. Which one should I do first? Because I got a lot of palettes. Okay, so here it is. It's that pinky rosy one. And it smells like tart. I love the tart smell. Don't y'all? That little cocoa y chocolatey smell. Mm, okay, so I got that. Now, one thing you can say about Tarte, Tarte don't play. Right, exactly. That's what you have to do. Tarte has some of the best packaging. It's bulky, but it's gorgeous. If you are just like somebody who doesn't have a lot of makeup, Tarte makes it you want makeup. Them and Too Faced. Too Faced and Tarte consistently do really nice packaging. Yeah, well, it ain't going to be chalky on me. We know we already established who I am. It ain't gonna be chalky on me. Do y'all want if you want me to swatch some of this? Let me know before we move on. Do y'all want me to swatch this one? Are we good? We don't need to see this one. We good? No, just let me know right now. You know, well we've established I'm black girl beige. My melanin is is within. Right, they, girl. They, they have some of the best packaging all the time. And you'd be like, you know what? Maybe I'm going to need it in my life. So if y'all want to see this one, let me know. Okay, somebody said it. I'll swatch a few of them. Let me show y'all the ones I really was thinking about. I was really looking at this one. So I'm going to go with the pinky tones because they got, the, you know, they've got some of those tan brown tones. But I really wanted to look at this one. This is the one that I was looking at. Oh, she's pretty. Oh, she's pretty. Oh, she's pretty. That's that like deep burgundy color. She's pretty, y'all. And then let's see the other mat. So, okay, so then we got this one, which is kind of a mauvey pinky. Ooh. <laughs> Did you just call me Popeye Biscuit Batter? Girl, you think, okay, now. Okay, now. Okay, now. You want me, okay. So that's that pink. Ooh, that's pretty. What is it called? It's called Giggle. Didn't she go there? She called me Popeye Biscuit Batter, but now I want some Popeye's biscuits. Thanks a lot. I'm trying not to eat a bunch of carbs, but damn, that sounded good. Just And I don't even need honey or nothing. I just need a nice Popeye's biscuit. And then this is one. This is whimsical. What is this on my hand? 
Oh, these are pretty. Ooh, 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 ooh. Those are pretty. Oh my goodness, those are pretty. And look at how they swatch. They feel so nice on. You know. <laughs> See candy, okay. Um, you better look for it quick because it keeps going out of stock. Okay, so now let's play with the pink shimmers. <laughs> look at this beauty right here. Flitter. Michelle. I'm a golden brown chicken strip. That's right, damn it. I'm a golden brown chicken strip. Thank you, Michelle. You always got my back. And then this one is beautiful. Mystical. Ooh, and it's got a little shift in it. I don't know if y'all can see the shift, but... You know, this is on my, <laughs> my golden hue. Let me tell y'all, I love the lighting in here, but this lighting makes me look really pale. It just washes me out because I am just so much darker than this darlings. But yeah, and it's got a little shift to it. Oh, you see that shift? Y'all shift. Hoo-hoo, baby. Okay, let me get these off. Let me let me clean myself. Okay, that shift is gorgeous. Okay, so now next up. I got it. Did you get it yet, Bella? The icy batch. So I got it. Now, once again, highlighter is a casualty. Uh, but I didn't get it for the highlighter, so I'm gonna clean it out and just keep it because I wanted the I wanted these. I didn't care about the damn highlighter. So it was a casualty. I tossed it out. I was like, whatever, it's gone. Because I just really wanted that. So I'm going to clean it up and everything. Did you just say, you see me in person? What does that mean? What does that mean? What are you trying to say? Okay, so anyway. And I got to say, I kind of like these colors in person. They're better. <laughs> fracture. In person, these are prettier than the pictures. And I keep saying this. I don't understand what's going on with these companies that they don't do good picture taking. They either oversaturate or don't or don't saturate the, the, the colors enough so you can get a really good look at them. Either they're trying to make them more than they are or they don't show them well enough because these are gorgeous. Look at how pretty they are really in person. These are so much better than they looked in, you know, the the pictures of them. This blue right here is, oh, look at that blue. Look at that damn blue. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Don't play with it. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Do y'all see that freaking blue? And for $24? Thank you, Tart. Yeah, no, I'm not, girl. I might be going out, so I'm not doing them. Right, I know that's right, girl. I know, I know, I know. See, then I got this one, and once again, the packaging, the packaging is freaking lovely. This is the good times, good high ties, and good vibes. Look at this packaging. This thing is gorgeous. This is really good for somebody who wants to do a little blue, but not too much blue. So it's got enough neutrals in it to give you that look. I just, okay, I got to swatch this baby right here. I have got to swatch the, the press glitch. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, so can I say this? Tart getting in now. Tart is trying to get. Tart is coming for us. Tart is coming for us. 
and they feel so good. But honestly, I've always liked my Pro Palette. The Tardis Pro Palette, I've always liked that palette. I don't use it enough, but I do like it. That's why I keep it because I think that the Tardis Pro Palette is a great beginner palette. I should pull out my beginner palettes because those are the ones that I was really able to learn how to put on makeup, you know, and really do some decent looks that I didn't have to think too hard. And I think that is a really great um, beginner palette. But, ooh, child, these babies are cute. Tart, yes. Right. You know what? Because for a minute, Tart was starting to look all the same. But Tart is not, okay, they hear and stuff, and they like, okay, bitches, y'all was talking shit about us. I'm coming for y'all. Hey, Crimps. They like, I'm coming for y'all. I am coming for y'all. Don't play with me. Okay, so let me make sure I put this up because I already got those that are breaking up. And yeah, that's my porch. Let's just sit. Okay, so now I'm about to toss them already. Okay, so those are those. Okay, so now I have these two palettes. These two palettes right here. I have the Juvia's Place Nubian Coral, Nubian 3 Coral, and I have the Sweet Talk palette. And um, so I'm gonna, which one y'all wanna see first? Mm -hmm. Which one y'all wanna see first? Sweet Talk, you win. Okay, so here's the Sweet Talk palette. First off, I think it's such a pretty package. It's such a pretty package. So I'm going to kind of show them both to y'all together. So we have this. Uh, oh, you want to see all the swatches? Okay. I'm beginning to think so. So here is the Sweet Talk palette right here. Okay, so I'm going to show y'all that. And then I'm going to swatch them all. We can swatch them all. That's how much I love y'all. Do you see how much I love y'all? I'm willing to swatch them all. And then here is the... Um, Nubian three. Now, what I'm going to do is put them close to each other so you can see what I see. When you look at them, they are they are similar on very on some fronts. They have some similarities to them, and I'll show you the ones that are very similar when you look at them. These right in here, this this these right here, the the corals in here are very similar to the corals in here. These right here, one two and th one 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 two and three and even this one they are very similar very similar i'm gonna swatch them you will see that they're a little different the tones are a little different and of course you know juvia's has gone with the grays and i haven't swatched those so we're all gonna see these together now i'm gonna tell you all this while i'm before i even get started is that um honestly the sweet talk is a little more pigmented um, when I was playing with them, I did them both on either eye and I used the colors that were similar just like I showed you and I'll, I'll try to do it on camera because I was just when I got them both I was so excited and I was like, okay, um, Colourpop is coming for y'all. So let me, so I'm going to show y'all this one, then I'll do, um, then I will do sweet talking and I'll do one arm and then I'll do the other one and you can see. All right, so let's go. We're going to go with this one um yeah it's nice yeah i mean i like color pop no no lies it's not like i'm going oh my god now they have no names this time this is one this is one of the few ones that she doesn't do names on but i know the original nubian she didn't do names on it but i think on nubian 2 she has names but anyway she doesn't have names for the shadow which is fine with me because i don't be remembering no damn names anyway i mean i'm i'm just telling the truth on that okay now i'm gonna say this because this is the first time i've touched this one um this is a little drier than the ones that I've had from her before. However, it's stunning. So this isn't as creamy as her normal um, shimmers. This is this is a little, it's a little heavier. You know, it's a little stiffer. But I can see this working because look at that damn color, y'all. Okay, I ain't mad. I ain't mad. Okay, Juvia. Okay, Juvia, you coming for us? And then now here's the gray right there. Now I'm gonna do this. Y'all see how this is looking right now? Yeah. 
So see how that's coming in? Yeah. I'm just showing y'all what it looks like. Um, and now I'll do this, this one right here. Now this one feels more like her usual formula. So it's a little bit stiffer, but it's still more of her usual form. But damn, that color's pretty. Look at that damn color. Ooh, shit, that is pretty. That is real pretty. Okay, and then the last one on the on this row is this one right here. See, these are um, it is one two, one two three four five six mats. The shadows candies. What is that? So, I mean, like this one, it just seems it's a little more um, packed. So, like I said, these are much, um, they're not as soft as her normal ones have been. You know how like Juvia's can be a little soft? These are not that soft. And I will talk about it when I do, you know, my thing with them. Because, you know, what? I'm not going to sit up here in front. Like, everything is perfect, you know, all the time. Because, like, we were talking about it. Um, right. See, I'm kind of in the, the gray things because I've been wanting some grays. So, I like the grays. Um, all right. So, I'm going to do this one right here. Let me watch myself do this. Now, this one feels more like the, the normal Juvia's feel. And you see how it just came on like butter. So this one has more of the Juvia's feel to it. This one does. This is much softer. It feels like her normal shimmers. This one in particular, even though it's beautiful on, I want to see how it does with the brush or, you know, how to get it on. Because it's a beautiful kind of dual chromey one, but it is much different than her normal formula. Okay, so then we're going to go with this one right here. So I'm going to give y'all a good swatch. See what I'm saying? So they're not, they are pigmented, but, okay, so that's that. So that's that brown. So here's this one coming in right now. This one feels like her sh her shimmers do because it glides on. It's a little softer. So this is a good one. This is very much like her normal formula right there. And then we're going to do this one. Yeah, I was going to, I'm probably going to do a gray orange look with this and see how it looks. Okay, so here we go right here. So like this is a really pretty color though. Maybe I'll try to timestamp this, you know, go in and time stamp. Maybe I'm going to try to do that. Be all extra. Okay. This one right here, let's try that one. How is poor? She's okay. You know, of course, I haven't let her out or anything on the back porch or anything. But she's like, she's okay. She likes her house. She's been running around acting a fool. So that's that one. And see what I'm saying? Um, I just don't think they're intense enough. Like, I'm just saying like this. And you're going to see what I'm talking about. These are very muted corals. And I guess it kind of makes sense because I don't know. It doesn't. Um yeah so these are very muted corals they are not vibrant and you're gonna see the difference when i'm doing the other one and so here's this one which is this light gray 
It kind of reminds me of the one in the Creepy Cute, but it's more of a taupey gray. This has a little more, this is more of a taupe than a true gray. And to be honest, I don't know how Fumi made it so vibrant on her. She must have been done a really light, light base. Because look at this on me. But you know, Fumi getting paid by them. Okay, so then this one right here, this right here. I think that she didn't push the envelope on this one like she could have. You know, I just don't think she pushed the envelope like she could have. So I'm going to bring this up so y'all can see it. I don't think she pushed the envelope when it came to the corals. I just don't. I think she went really, I think they were really safe, but then decided to go kind of interesting with the, with the grays and the silvers. Love that concept. But, and then let me try this one right here. You know, of course, if, if I say that, she's going to be blocking my ass. Because don't she have a tendency to black folks? She'll be like that bitch. Yeah. Now, this is the best mat in here. Look at that one. That is the best mat. That's the best mat there because it is a really pretty orangey coral. I think, you know what, I can see doing looks with it. And I'll have looks with it because, like I said, I, I'm going to change up because the one I did was a little too monochromatic. Um, but I can see it. But it is, it is, yeah. Okay. Okay. I think so too. I think so too because I like I said I really like this color. I don't know how it's, and this one, these two, but right, it's just the corals are just not that vibrant. And it, I think if she would have went a little bit more vibrant, it would have really made it uh, it, it would have really killed the game. Okay? So like for instance, like for instance, you know, she could have got rid of one of these shimmers. We don't need these two shimmers here. We do not need this one, and we do not need this one. This one definitely could have been left out. And then she could have put a vibrant, you know, a more vibrant coral in here. You know, and, and she could have gone with peach. Then it would have been, because this is a little too brown. We don't need this brown shimmer. You have this one right here. That's as brown as we need. That's the copper one. That's all we need. Okay. Now, let's look at Sweet Talk. Same amount of colors. No, yep, same amount of colors. Let's look at it. So I'm going to do this one. And I haven't done, like I said, I haven't swatched them. Wow, I got, damn it, I got, I got glitter all over me from that high tides. I'm looking at glitter all over my hands. I got green glitter everywhere, y'all. Do they gave? Oh, see, they gave names. So this is Catch Me, this one right here. So this is here, which is a decent, you know, very um, peachy. Honestly, of the two, I think um, you'll see. We'll see. This one I touched, and baby, this thing is, I don't know what it is, but it's it's calling my name. So this one is called Side to Side. And I know this is, I think this is one of the new new formulas. Oh snap, I'm gonna be glittered up in a second. But look at that. Look at that damn thing. I mean, if that is not a perfect topper color. Oh. All right, so this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mats. Um, and then, you know, the shimmers, four, five shimmers. One is more of a satiny one. So you'll see that toward the end, Lily. And then we have this one, which is Garden Date. This one right here. She feels good. She Kind of like what happened with me, Candy. Right, so that's beautiful. Oh, let me take this off because this is gonna be in the way. Let me take her off because she's gonna be in the way. 
right? Okay, and then this last one on this row is work it right here. Right here, let me do this one. I'll build them up when they're close to my complexion. So I gotta build this one up just a little more. And you might see some green sparkle in here because I've got sparkle all over me. But you see, that's a pretty color too. See how that looks? Now let's see. Juvia gonna block me. She gonna be like, don't let that Wayne's buy my stuff no more. You know she get real sensitive. You know she has a tendency towards sensitivity about her, her baby. <laughs> okay, so next one. This is a pressed glitter prima donna, prima drama, I'm sorry, prima drama. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit, see how this looks. Okay, it's a pretty pressed glitter right there. And then the next one is Meadow Now. I've already used this one. That's one of the ones that I, I played with. Now, I want y'all to see how vibrant that is by comparison. And this is a very similar color, but it's a very melony. I love it. Okay, so then the next one is Early Morning. That's that other pressed glitter. I'm just gonna grab a little of it. Now this one is more um, packed in. That one is a little harder to deal with. You know, it's not as um, soft as the first one. Oh, I like that color too though. Can you see the difference? This is, is a more orangey glitter mm -hmm. where this is a more gold. Real cute. last ones and then this is i see something i don't know i see why me is something i don't know okay so let's get that one going and so that's right there so that's right there if they look patchy, it's because my fingers are dry, extremely dry. So that's why they kind of look patchy when I do them. Um, I always have to wait to see how they look on when I do them. Okay, so so far we're going to look at these. Okay, okay. Then we're going to do this one, which is Melody right there. What the hell is that on my hand? <laughs> Okay, so that's Melody. And that's more of a shimmer, not as a metallic. Yeah, ColourPop is a more pinky coral. Where this one is a definitely a more muted, more brown coral. It's got a little more brown in it. Now let me do these last ones. <laughs> then this is West Side right here. Yeah, it's banging. Yeah, hey Red Velvet. Hey Mama Sita. So let me do that one. Um, I don't know yet. Yeah. I don't know yet, Lily. Um, and so that's that one. And then this one right here, which is Feel Free, this last one. Get this on. And so that's the last one. So let's look at them side by side. Let me clean myself off. All right. So here they are together. Hey, Kim. 
and I have to be now this is a very pinky corally beautiful color and then here's this one which is a little but I, I'm just saying it's a little too muted for me and look at how that gray is on me so honestly and when I put them on and I will try and I might do it side by side so you can kind of see it the color pop was much more pigmented. It really popped on my eyes as opposed to even with the colors. And you see there's some colors that are kind of similar. Even with the colors that were kind of similar, the color pop looked much more, it was just more pigmented and it was more. It was a little more intense on the eyes. Whereas I'm, this one is like, did y'all just throw this shit together? I'm just being honest. Not to say that I don't like it because I do like it, it's more for one thing it's more of a fall coral you know I, and i'm not saying that you gotta wear stuff like this in different seasons like me but this feels more fall to me especially with it with the grays in it and just the way it comes off than this one this is more intense i love the colors and how they and and they they just did work better i'm just gonna be honest with you just gonna be honest I think, uh, right. I think that um, I think that they should have waited. Honestly, I kind of I like them both for different reasons. I can, uh, you know what? I go back and forth. I honestly, velvet. I go back and forth. Sometimes I'm into cool tones. I tend toward more warm tones. But depending on it, hey, patience, you just missed all of the palette. You just missed the swatches for the Sweet Talk um, and the JP Nubian 3. So I just did all the swatches for these. So, but we've got more. We have more. All right. Hi, Miss V's World. Okay, so let me take that off. Okay, so now let me show y'all what else I got up in here. So I've got a few more palettes. I made you buy what palette? What palette I make you buy? What I'm out of it. So I bought this palette from Midas Cosmetics because I wanted to try them out. Oh, Juvia's Coral. Uh, yeah, I got those too. So I got this one. We're going to get to that one. Oh, okay so i got these um so i got this high times right right because you were not gonna buy it but it was right oh, okay so this is the high times right here so i got this one and this has a little gray in it it's got a gray we should see it there See, see, so I got this one. It's very green. It's got a little coral. No, I haven't. Um, I haven't gotten over there yet. I didn't make nobody buy no minted palette. Now I know I didn't because I ain't got no minted. Y'all know how I am with minted. Um, so anyway, I got this. Oh, I want to try a couple of these. Let's try a couple of these. Let's try this one right here, this OG Kush. First off, let me get out some of the stuff I got. This is by Midas Cosmetics. And I wanted to try them out because they have another palette coming that I want. Did you see that spring palette, girl? I want, and I said, well, let me just try something before I buy that one. How did that make sense in my head? I don't know. There's a palette that they're coming out that I wanted, but then I said, well, let me just try one before then. I don't understand my thought process at that point, but that green is gorgeous. If it is not a beautiful forest green, ooh, 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 ooh. yes. And then I want to try this one, Kermit. I want to try this one, Carmen. Well, they got one coming out. That top. Oh, okay. I got you. I'm going to. Look at that green. Shh. 
shut up. Okay, and then Lily wants to, uh, I saw your picture. And then I want to do this one that's train wreck. Ooh, look at that orange. This is beautiful. That orange, and it just is beautiful and buttery and just glided. Yes, but now I want to do one shimmer, and that's this green one. I want to see that green one right there before I go on to the next thing. That's what I thought. It looks pretty. That's gorgeous. Ooh, okay, but let's see how that gray is. I don't know, Candy. I just got this. I cannot tell you yet. We just watching it. Well, good. Then I don't need no milk, Gemini. I don't want it anyway. Ugh. Okay, so there's that. Now let's see how this gray swatches. Because they have a gray in here too. Let's see how that looks. Well, Lily, I want to say 25. I want to say 25. Oh man, that was nice. Yeah, I want to say 25. That is nice. That gray. Can I say this gray is better than the one in the Juvia's? I know. I saw that they went there. See, I'll go there and swatch them, but I ain't going to buy them there. That gray is much nicer than the one in Juvia's, y'all. Oh, Bella. Okay. Patience. Because I was like, I know you didn't talk about me buying nothing from Minty. Okay. So... That is that. Right there. They some picky folks, patience. Don't mess with them. I I don't want Bella or Ash to buy anything that I buy based on me. Because they never like anything I like. Apparently. Apparently, I'm not as good as with makeup as they are. All right. Then we have the Visart Little Baby Palette. Stuff I like, y'all always be like, mm, I don't like it. It ain't that good. I be like, damn, maybe I don't know what I'm doing. So we got the Warm Edit. Now we know why these are $39, though. They're really cute and tiny, but I like them. I like the little tininess of them. These are $39, and these are so tiny and cute, though. I like them. And then the rose edit. And, and we ain't even going to talk about face products. And then this, the rose edit. And I'm never bought visor so this is my first visor and i kind of like it because it's tiny i can play with it because i'll be honest with you a lot of the visor palettes have been like i don't necessarily want them but i do like these babies i i like tiny palettes hey lynn hey lynn i like a little tiny palette let's i'm gonna play with this one right here because this is pretty Ooh, that is a pretty rosy color oh snap that is pretty rose. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty rose right there. That's a pretty rose right there. And then look at this right here next to it. Oh, she pretty too. Look at that little pinky color right there with a little duochrome. It's a little silver going on up in there. Yes! Yes! Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. How are you? 
Oh, I like this. And let me say, I like the packaging of this. I think this is really cute little packaging. Looks like a little matchbox. I think it's so cute. I think it's adorbs. I think it's adorbs. She's adorbs. She's adorbs. So that's that one. And then let's look at the warm palette. I'm not going to stick off again. How about can you get the damn thing off the cover? Can I get the plastic cover off, y'all? I'm trying to take the whole thing off. Okay, there we go. I'm like, why can't I get this to work? Oh, because you're trying to take the whole thing apart, not just this. Okay, so here we go. Look at that orange and that yellow. Let's play with the orange and the yellow first. Let's see how this bright orange looks. Okay, she's pretty. So this is like a mustardy yellow. Oh, okay. Okay, Vizart. Okay, Vizart. Okay, Vizart. Let's try this one right here. Look at that peachy gold. these are cute yes these are cute oh my gosh okay let me find one more color because you got four fingers you can really do this with who i'm getting stuff all over here already oh because i didn't clean these fingers off okay my hands are stained to the gods right now oh but see i like it because you can really see some really pretty looks and i really like that they threw in this rosy color what's going on right here okay y'all kind of got a little rosy tint to it okay 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 i like her i like her i like her so yeah I, oh i can definitely see some looks coming out of this yes child yes i am pleased I am pleased. So, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let me stop messing with stuff. Okay, the last two things that I have, I think this is it. Is a Natasha Denona Bloom. Damn, she pretty. Damn, she's pretty. Okay, so let's play with her. And I think the, the packaging is gorgeous too. Packaging is gorgeous too. All right, so let's go with this. So we're gonna go with this Glow Extreme. Let's see how this looks. I've never had any of these either. Oh, she's pretty. And not a lot of glitter. So it's a nice little shimmer. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. That's pretty. Now these are the um, powders I'm playing with first. And this is the Duo Glow right here. That would be so pretty on someone. Cause you wonder, hey Andrea. Okay. I, I, I shouldn't have got her, but I was like, fuck it, I'm getting her. Okay, and then we've got the glow cream base right here. Ooh, this is a for real cream too, y'all. Huh, interesting. This is a for real. Cream base. And then here's the cream blush. I mean, this stuff is for real cream. 
this is a for real cream look at how intense see okay they are intense of course you know you can build them down but that is an intense beautiful oh, she's That was gorgeous. She was gorgeous. She was gorgeous. She was gorgeous. And finally. Now, first off, this is so damn pretty. Look at this damn packaging. That packaging is so gorgeous. However, I'm going to show y'all. This is the Glowgasm. This is the darker one. I'm starting to have her. We trended each other. Okay. So, let me, let me do something with them. Okay, so this is, which one is this? This is the one. This is the highlight. This is the highlight. Now this one definitely needs a um, a, a stiff brush. Because the, the lighter one looked way too light. I can play, I can rock with something a little bit darker. I can work that, you know, put it on a little bit lighter. That other one looked too light. Then this is the multi glow, she calls it. This is the multi glow. This is the blush right here. Hello, Papa blush crap. That's that blush right there. Let me let y'all get in and see it good. That's the blush. And then this is the bronzer. These are very soft. They feel really soft to the touch. And then that's the, the bronzer. Hey, Coco. Yes, child. Okay, so I do have, well, I have, yeah, you might still be able to see it because I put it on this morning. Thank you. I um I did put it on this morning, um, but I put it on with a, a very light brush. So let's just see how she looks if I use a different brush. Let's take, because I use a fluffier brush. I can see you passing on that one. Uh, let's just see. So let's see. See, much more came out. No, and I think so. I don't think this is as, um, I don't think it's, you know, really, she could have gone with it. This could have been for medium, maybe, maybe made it a little bit lighter and then gone with much deeper, richer colors. Like for instance, oh, oh snap. Damn. This is the love gasm. So this is the, the darker one. So that's why I'm saying, I think this, she could have done three, but I'm sure like from a marketing standpoint, you know, um, budgetary standpoint, they decided not to, but I'm saying like, for instance, they could have gone on the blush. They could have done something as dark as the one in the balloon palette. They could have gone right there. If they had gone with that, or maybe a little bit lighter, for a, for a deeper that would have been perfection right um 
and I think looking at them both, they're kind of similar, but they're almost kind of similar. But of course, you know, Natasha's got the cream products, but it's got, and, and this one has the bronzer, but they're very similar. Really similar. I like them both, though. I like them both. Ooh, but let me try this, this Glow Extreme, because I, I, I've never tried one of hers. So let's see how this looks. Let's try this Glow Extreme, baby, on this other side. Okay, now this picks up a little different. With this brush, I might need to get like a natural hair brush or something. Ooh, but it's on. This one has more glitter. Because I can see the fine glitter in this side. This one definitely has more glitter. Like in person, I can see glitter. This one definitely has a little more glitter in it. I know you can't see it this side on camera that well. I mean, it's glowing. But it definitely has more glitter where this is more sheen. This is a sheen. This and this is a, has a little glitter in it. But this is so pretty. Hold on. Got to try this. Oh my God, that's pretty. The um, this duo glow right here. Oh my God. Now that is gorgeous on the skin. Whew. I don't know if y'all can see it in this light. All righty. All righty. Oh, snap. Oh, my God. I've got corn roasting. I got, I'll be back. I'll be back. Jesus. Okay, I'm back. Oh my God. I totally forgot I had corn roast and this stuff been roasting ever since I've been on it for almost an hour and a half. Thank goodness it was five pounds of corn. So it's okay. <laughs> it's roasting in the oven. But I totally forgot about it. Hey, Karen. Right. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, it's, it's fine. It's, I'm, I'm roasting five pounds of corn, so it's fine. But I totally forgot about it. I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So I have to go back because I'm having ramen night this weekend. So I got to, um, I'm, you know, starting to prep right now. And people like roasted corn. Let me just say this. People love roasted corn in their soup. <laughs> it's one of the best, <laughs> biggest things that people want. That and spinach. I didn't. No, I, I, no, I didn't. <laughs> Plus, when you roast in corn, you need something that's a little extra crunchy in there anyway. I like my, when I roast it, it's brown. It's definitely a golden brown when I roast the corn. Because I like it to have a little, you know, crunchiness to it. All right. I know, I know you was. Girl, if I had, if I had burnt up five pounds of corn, I'd have been like, okay, all right. All right, this is bad. <sighs> All right, y'all. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I gotta go on and keep prepping. I gotta start. Cut, I gotta cut up vegetables to roast. I gotta roast all these vegetables up for my roasted vegetable, my, my roasted fall veggies. <sighs> so I gotta go on and get in there and get to get off, get off the beauty and get on the cooking. But anyway, thank y'all. This. Is, so what y'all think about the haul? 
Oh, I'm going to post it up. Which ones so out of the palettes? What do you all want to see first? Which ones do you all want me to spend some time on? Because, you know, I'm getting back into filming because I have not filmed. I have not filmed in two weeks. You know, I've done lives, but I have not filmed anything until yesterday when I did that Milani one. That was my first that was my first filming in like two weeks. So I feel a little rusty. It's so funny because even though you do it, if you go two weeks without filming, it feels a little funny doing it. You want to see Visart, the CP one, the color one? Okay. Whoo, look at all that gray coming in. Do y'all see all that gray right there? The oh the found Charlotte Silberry. I will be doing that, Candy, because I am wearing this. I'll be wearing this a lot. And I'm wearing it either as a foundation or as the flawless filter underneath. Because you can wear it either way. You can wear it either as a foundation or you can wear it under your foundation as an illuminator. And it does. Oh, I didn't show y'all. Let me show it to the people who've never seen it. It's got a little doe foot and everything. I, oh, I'm loving the gray. So here's how it looks. So this is the medium one. So I kind of shear it out and then wear it underneath my foundation. And it is a really beautiful illuminator. Now I am going to wear it one day, just wear it and see kind of what I see happening with it. Um, but it is, look at that sheen on it though. She pretty. Right, exactly, exactly. I've been doing that, so um, because of that, I am going to talk about this. And then I have the, um, yes, they have in different colors, Bella. This, I just bought this, you know, a medium. So I bought the medium one, but they do have different, they do have sh different shades in it. Um, but I do like this one. And now I do have, which I haven't been wearing before, that came. So in case you don't want to spend that money, and I will talk about this in a video, I do have the Soft Focus Glow by Milani. So you see how this one looks, and I'm going to show you the difference. Now, I would say the only thing I don't like about the Milani one is that um, the way the pump is and everything, it gets kind of messy. It's not messy, but it gets, it, it starts, um, if you don't use it a lot, it's got like, it hardens. It gets like, you know, a little hard spot. And so when you first use it, you got to take that piece off. So anyway, here, here that is. And that one is in, this one is in Golden Glow. So let me see, can I show y'all? So this is the golden one. And they do have a bronze one, and then they do have a lighter one of this one, too. They have, like, a pearl glow or something. But the difference is, this is a little... Now, of course, I have the golden one. So this has a little more gold than the Charlotte Tilbury does. But it does have that sheen vibe to it. Because, like, you can see the difference, because this is more gold, and this is more just a beautiful sheen. But, yeah, I like this one, too. Hi, Lisa. How are you? So, you know, I will be talking about them both. I actually have a few of them now. So I have the shot because I wanted to get the Charlotte Tilbury to see the difference between it as the higher end one and the one that, you know, was the beginning to the ones that are coming out from the drugstore. So I have three different ones. Yeah, so I have those. And then I have two more that I haven't used yet. I'll show them to you because I bought them last month, but I, didn't, I haven't really worn them yet. I've been wearing this one. So then I also got LA Girl has one and Ulta Beauty. Ulta Beauty is coming for everybody, y'all. Oh, my God. Yes, Melanie Mills has them too. Um, so I got these. LA Girl has them. This one right here, this is the Luminous Glow. This is an afterglow. So I'll show you this one. This is actually closer to the Charlotte Tilbury, I think, on the colors. Yeah. 
So this is the illuminator right here by them. This is actually closer to the Charlotte Tilbury one right there. Yeah, this is the one that's closest to it. Yep, that's closest to it. So there's that one. And then I got this one. And they do have different, you know, I think they got three or four different shades. They don't have a lot, but they got that one. And then I got this one from Ulta, which is called Beaming Light. Wait till you see this one. Shout out. This is a peachy glow. Look at that one. Yes, hers looks a little more wet. Yes, it does have a little more wetness to it. This is the closest one to it, though. Of the three, this one is the closest in that kind of vibe. But this is the other one I got because it's like this peachy glow. When I get a tan, girl. When I get a little. Okay, I'm not supposed to tan, though, because uh, tanning is bad. Never mind. Never mind, I won't be tanning. Hi, Coco, how are you? All right, so that was it. So, okay, so y'all said Viseart, ColourPop. I know I'm going to do something talking about, I'm probably going to compare ColourPop to Juvia's Place. That's where I think I'm going to go with it because I think that's a good way to go with it. So I think I'm going to compare the two. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Candy. You know, anything to help you out. Appreciate it. You know, anything that helped that out. But yeah, I think, um, and then, uh, so, and then I'm going to play with these, but then I have the certify. I still need to play with certify. I still haven't done the Sydney Grace. Um, I gotta make a list. I'm gonna put them all on. Okay. I'm gonna put them all in the community tab, the, whichever ones, and then I'll go in that order. And the watermelon one's coming, just so y'all know. No, this, no, these are the Visart. This is the warm edit. This is the warm edit by Visart. And the rose edit by Visart. The cute little, the cute little baby palettes. The cute little baby palettes. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. Mm -hmm. yeah I didn't watch it I'm not watching it I am done with that whole thing because I think it's gone too far okay this is all I'm gonna say here's what I'm gonna say this is my take on it is that she's getting ahead of things and I'm I, I'm not mad at her because this is going very bad and it has gotten to the point of bullying so what she's doing is trying to now stop that because her name is going to be attached to this bullying that's going on. Hi, I'm about to get off. I'm so sorry. Girl, don't let them get after pay. It's on and popping. But so she's getting ahead of that to, to manage the fact that if this continues at the rate that it's going, that it's going to fall on her. So she got to fix this now before it gets bad. So I'm going to say this. Well played, Tati. Well played. That's all I'm going to say about that. Well played. I ain't mad at her because that was a good PR move for her. Yup, 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 yup. Y'all know I know what I'm talking about. When it come down to that business, that's all I'm about. Yeah, yeah. Because she didn't, here's what she didn't expect. She didn't expect it to have the, the impact it did. See, she just called herself putting, you know, getting him in trouble, getting people off her back. Um, and now she's got to fix this before it's bad. I'm telling you, if that boy does something to harm himself, right. Mm -hmm. But it hasn't gotten to that point because, because that, because if this couldn't because the app, that, 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 that snowball is an avalanche. And so she's trying to fix that avalanche before it, before she gets buried in it. Well played, Tati. Well played. All right, because yeah, because it's very slanderous, and if he hurts, him, if he harms himself, anything comes, his family could come for her. Okay, that's all I got. I'll say, get away from 
But there's my business analysis of that. All right. See y'all later. Y'all have a great. Right. Yep. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. So I will talk to y'all later. <laughs> y'all have a great night. The gray is coming.